Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and my gift to you is this video about clearing stuff with your father, karma clearing. After uh, commenting on some of the most important child-father dynamics, we will be having a guided meditation starting at uh, this time in the video. And uh, please only accept the information that resonates with you and understand that my knowledge uh, comes from 40 years of intense spiritual study, practice and uh, several thousand past life regressions where I talk to the high selves of my client, explore and help clear the root cause of their issues. And uh, yes, I also still do a personal Skype session. Uh, just send me an email. Um, so I would like to say that of all people you have karma with, you probably have the most with mom, dad, and your sweethearts. And it can be uh, quite shocking when we find out that in a past life, we have cursed, raped, killed, uh, betrayed, and even sacrificed, you know, vampired, and uh, magically bound, you know, our closest loved ones, or also that they have done the same to us. So, finding out what happened in past lifetimes explains many family dynamics in hindsight. But uh, let us uh, get back to the father-specific issues that I found in my work. So, uh, of course, our first experience in 3D, you know, uh, or bonding with other people besides our mother is hopefully, you know, um, our father, you know, and so uh, this first contact, male contact person, uh, was he depressed or stressed? Uh, like, uh, for instance, most teenage dad probably are, or any father that caused a pregnancy out of wedlock, right? So, um, big chances there that there's a lot of anxiety, you know, around the male issue. And um, many of us, you know, let's face it, were unwanted and uh, caused unfavorable career and lifestyle changes and experienced uh, probably initial hostility, you know, and uh, probably also, you know, uh, from the dad, you know. And then, of course, you know, there are those deadbeat dads, you know, that left you and your mom alone and stranded. You know, it's very hard for a single mom, you know, very hard. You know. And then maybe, you know, you had as many dads, you know, as your mom had boyfriends. And uh, maybe some of those, you know, wanted to be your boyfriend too. So, all these encounters serve as men, you know, leave, of course, you know, very deep imprints in us uh, that can condition us, you know, for the rest of our life. You know. And of course, uh, most psychologists, you know, will agree that during the uh, first seven years, you know, the formative years of your life, you know, we get some of the deepest programming. And uh, Father is probably the closest to us, just according to time spent together. For example, my parents divorced during and shortly after I was born, and in hindsight, it was better that way. Uh, my father was drafted with 17, you know, off the high school bench and sent into the mean grider of the Normandy, jumping two times out of a burning tank, you know, with burn and shot wounds. So who knows what kind of PTSD and survivor skill burning burdened him. Uh, it might have been better to have no father than a bad father, because when I became a father myself, I had to reinvent 
my father role and did not become you know just a decal you know from my father's dysfunctional imprinting there's also a, a lot of transference or projection going on for girls from fathers to husbands uh, women marry their fathers is the saying girls have in general a stronger relationships with their fathers and may see mom as a competition boys on the other hand tend to see their father as a rival in the relationship to mother so we as boys and girls also tend to transfer our relationship with our father to the male archetype and ultimately to the male god at least in the abrahamic traditions uh, i also find in my work that we generally have huge past life karma with our father figures so many times we find that there were figures of authority, power in our life, uh, like pharaohs, kings, or black magicians that raped, tortured, murdered, or enslaved us. Uh, there was incense, incest, uh, lots of curses, and of course, angry or stuck ghosts that come with the trauma. I mean, it's every time you know you have a big trauma, you can expect uh, that the ghost stuck. And you will have a chance to see for yourself doing the guided meditation. I'm just preparing you <laughs> here so that you're not too shocked. In uh, most cases, uh, those dads try to make up, those abusive dads, let's say, try to make up for their past wrongdoings. Uh, that they are, uh, of course, uh, not aware of in this life. The kicker is that when we got abused by dad in past incarnation and our dad might have been in the body of a woman in that life, uh, we most of the time cursed them up and down, you know, with great passion. And now we can see the results for ourselves having to be raised by a dysfunctional man. We have to eat the soup that we cooked. Now, here's some advice towards childcare from my perspective. That is a bit of the beaten path. In the good old times, the father was the provider and protector of the family, and uh, that was it. A lot of the other child rearing functions were taken care of by the extended family, brothers, sisters, or maybe even the tribe or village. My second dad uh, would hide behind the newspaper when he was home, and, and that was it. Uh, he had not much energy left for anything else, and his father has you know, done the same. So many of the old role models have changed uh, from that of a provider for men. Uh, additionally, uh, dads may have uh, to fulfill the role of a whole village. He may have to take care of friendship for the children, entertainment, sports, nutrition, maybe cooking, or even snuggling. So, for those dads, you know, I advise, please uh, give your children from very early on massages. There's a lot of information on how to give a massage on YouTube. Uh, also, snuggle with your children. You know, that skin is touching, that is, uh, the closeness is very important. There's so many studies on this with the monkey, maybe on the wire cage, with the, uh, on the wire model, with the bottle, and then the furry model. So, and uh, when boys like to wrestle, and so when you as an adult wrestle with them, uh, make sure they win every match that will build their self-confidence. And whenever they do something right, make a big thing out of it. In that way you reinforce this good behavior. And if you beat 
or abuse your children, resentment will build up over the years. And they will put you in one of those one diaper a day uh, nursing homes or leave you out you know, for revenge. So, watch it. Now, before uh, we go into the guided meditation, I want to point out some principles that I found will support the success of any guided meditation. So, uh, obsidian is a good stone um, that you can put, let's uh, say, on your root chakra. Also, tourmaline, black tourmaline will be fine. Um, you can use selenite instead of tourmaline, but tourmaline I find is the best. Selenite is rather cheap, so it's a toss-off. Uh, if you have uh, rose quartz, uh, definitely uh, put it under your heart chakra. Any pink stone, rhodochrosite is also fine. And uh, make sure you don't have cold feet. That uh, is not going to be a good meditation. So have socks or something warm on. And uh, put hematite in your socks. Uh, magnetite is, would be even better. Uh, so that will, you know, increase your circulation to the feet and keep you nicely grounded. And uh, in your hands you hold uh, those quartz crystals. <clears throat> and uh, if you have the divine symbol, you know, I call it the platonic solid symbol. I have a, a video on it, just research that. Uh, I would use it. I would uh, sit on one and have one under each foot. Uh, just watch the video, you know, there is nothing uh, charged from my side, you can freely download everything. Uh, personally, I think it's very effective. Uh, also, well, let's say, when you have essential oils, definitely uh, anoint your chakras, uh, like the uh, oils from the violet vibration, of course, for the upper body, top of the head, front and back here. Uh, if you have a rose uh, oil, uh, definitely the heart, front and back. Uh, for the root chakra, I recommend ruby. If you get those natural uh, eight cornered rubies, these little triangles, they are the best. And put them, sit on them, uh, or put them onto the symbol. Uh, and then sit on that's even more powerful. So uh, these uh, will definitely enhance your experience. Uh, also taking a bath before uh, will purify you and uh, create a better experience. You will also relax more. If you can't do this, at least smudge uh, your body with an open window so the old smoke can go out. And if you don't have time for smudge, use a good incense. Uh, of course, uh, a massage by a high vibrational massage therapist is very helpful to get you again into a relaxed state. But if you know yoga, uh, definitely do a set before. And uh, if you can't do yoga, but do breath of fire, um, do this for 5, 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I have a video on it uh, called a Dragon Breath, Breath of Fire, the easy way. Uh, it uh, definitely, it's probably the fastest method to uh, get a lot of energy into you, and it's good to build stamina. So, uh, for the guided meditation, uh, close your eyes. And we start, we will connect now, and everything that we connect now will be organic. And when we say organic, I mean no artificial overlays. Um, there are a lot of artificial overlays, you know, through uh, culture, through words, word fields, um, through like electromagnetic uh, technology, um, for instance, over the sunlight, um, you could. Uh, you know, some you know, kind of pulse waves, um, um, like things created by harp, you know, or chemtrails. You know, there are all kind of different levels, or even certain type of magic 
There are all kinds of uh, ways through which artificial overlays are made. Um, and so we, you know, asked source to, you know, buy step for us so we can connect to the real thing, the organic thing, the way it was supposed to be by creator. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, <laughs> and uh, now we connect to absolute source. You know, nothing higher, nobody higher, more original, absolute source. And of course, everything in the organic aspect again. And uh, also, now we connect to our highest self and to our spirit guides all the way up to source. So angels and very high dimensional beings right next to creator are all involved if they're there. And as a more local representation of source, we connect to the organic aspect of Milky Way galaxy, anything from third, fourth, fifth, sixth dimensional aspects, or even higher, depending on your soul. And the same for the Earth and the Sun, and the elements here on earth and the directions north, south, east, west, up, down and the direction inside and all the beings that still love us unconditionally thank you for coming, Amen and I ask that everything that happens in them from the session here is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes Amen I also ask that there is no deception and that we are completely safe, absolutely safe and that everything integrates with great ease in our life. Mm -hmm. Amen. And now smile like an idiot and extend you know, your roots into the earth, just shapeshift your legs into deep roots and then the same with your spine and allow the love of Mother Earth to flow up through those roots, through the legs, and your spine, into your heart, all the way, all the way up to the head. And then on the exhale, you send your energy from the head down back into the roots, into the earth. Exhale in deep, smiling like an idiot, and then. You pull Mother Earth's love into your heart, into the head, and then all the way out. I call this running love, this back and forth, so start running love with Mother Earth back and forth. And while you're running love with Mother Earth, we ask that any blocks that are there, you know, um, that disconnect you from the Earth Mother, please be cleared now. Amen, 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 amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of you may feel quite a boost in the energy, so just keep on breathing. And now we asked our highest spirit guides to also clear any blocks and resistances from our spine and our crown chakras. Now, amen. And now put the tongue to the palate and on the exhale, you know, you sent that love that you pulled up from the earth mother, you know, all the way into the heart, out the top of the head, you know, all the way to the ceiling. Just keep pushing into the ceiling. This will take some, you know, good extended breaths. And smile like an idiot. Mm -hmm. And some of you, you know, that head starts tingling and you feel tingles all over. And now we ask the heavens, this is your spirit guides, your soul, and anybody that loves you unconditionally. Maybe the angels love you, huh? Then we ask them to pour, you know, their love into you. And now, amen, 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 and to me too, yeah? Amen, 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 amen. 
and start inhaling this love that's coming down from the heavens into your whole body and on the exhale you know you send it all the way up to the ceiling you know and you imagine that Milky Way galaxy is there you know so inhale and then push it all the way out the head to the whole Milky Way galaxy this will connect you to your higher dimensional consciousness And now, so we allow the cosmos to spill down over you and through you, your head, your shoulders, and your heart, through the arms, hands, your legs, and your feet, and in deep, deep, deep. And we ask that these waves of love coming down onto us be cleansing and healing. And now we ask Source and Archangel Michael or anybody else who is qualified, like Lord Shiva for those of the Hindu traditions, to remove as much as possible any Anunnaki, Draco, Grey magicians or any other predatory courts and technologies or devices from every level of our being, any incarnation, time or dimensions now for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And wherever we did, you know, similar stuff to others in other incarnations, uh, we ask that that be cleared too. Amen. Amen smile and you know now just keep pumping you know the love from the earth mother as well as the heavens into your heart on the inhale and on the exhale you just send it and expand your heart mm -hmm. and let that beautiful liquid light coming in know from heaven and earth dissolve any blocks that you find in your heart any darkness and any pain and just smile like an idiot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now you know we asked your highest consciousness to kind of be in front of you so this could be a male or female kind of goddess like thing or this could be radiance you know, something, you know, non-corporal, corporal. <laughs> uh, it's like a ball of light, you generally oval, or um, you might just feel a presence. Mm -hmm. And so we uh, want to make sure it's definitely us, so uh, just put a column of violet light on it, whatever you feel or see. And if it squirms, it's probably not what we asked for. We ask Archangel Michael to, you know, clear that out and, you know, connect us to the real thing. Amen. Uh, but if it likes the violet light, you know, start running love with it. You know, inhale, you know, the love from your high self. And on the exhale, you send your love from your heart. You know, so just go back and forth. And now uh, we, uh, you know, just ask, uh, you know, for a yes or no code. So let's assume that a yes is a flow of energy from the heart to the head. And a no would be a flow of energy from the heart to the feet. So let us ask the high self to give us a yes, no. Amen. And for many, you know, you probably feel kind of an upflow. For some it's very slight. Maybe some of you feel nothing. Uh, just ask your high self to give you a much stronger yes, so there is no doubt in your mind. So let's ask for another yes now. Amen. And 
And if you have problems here, you know, just pause it video and uh, uh, just, uh, you know, ask it to make it stronger till you can feel it. Mm -hmm. And now let's just ask the high self to give you a no, a clear no. It means, you know, energy from heart to the feet. Please give me a no now. Amen. And if you couldn't feel it, ask one more time to give it to you much stronger now. Amen. So let's uh, let's just start asking some real questions. First of all, are there any negative promises or vows uh, between you and your father? Yes or no? And uh, were those contracts and vows uh, maybe going, you know, through the uh, generation through time, yes or no. Also, were there any spells and curses uh, between you and your dad in past lifetimes, yes or no. And are you tasting the results of your curses, you know, by living with your dad and observing it and being raised by a dad that has been cursed by you? Are that to be shown now? Amen. And were there any divide and conquer spells put between your dad and you, yes or no? Also, is there any karma dumping going on between your dad and you, yes or no? And are you dumping karma onto your dad, yes or no? And is your dad dumping karma onto you? And this, of course, all includes past lifetimes, yes or no. Are there still any bindings between you and your dad, yes or no? And now we go to a different form of bindings. Um, you know, binding might be out of love, but then there's this category, and I call it bitch spell, like prison bitch, uh, where somebody gets abused as the victim, keeps supporting, you know, the owner of the bitch through the lifetimes, menial services, or just, you know, it's very submissive. So are there any bitch spells? between you and your dad, yes or no? And are there also any revenge vows uh, between you? Yeah, I will get you, or I will teach you, you know, things like this, yes or no? And now let's ask, uh, are there any uh, ghosts between you and your dad, yes or no? <laughs> so let's ask, how many incarnations uh, with your dad as a woman did you have? And whatever number just popped in, just take this on face value. It's not that important. But do you know what we're doing here? Do you just give you an overview? And now ask, how many incarnations with that as a man did you have? And how many were friendly?
And in how many were your enemies? So assuming that we choose our life path before the incarnation, let us ask why did we pick this father? What was high self thinking? So please high self explain yourself. And let's just ask, uh, I mean, you might know about uh, shaman's death, where we become wounded in young age in some way and then have to overcome this wound, wounding and, you know, this qualifies us, you know, to be able to heal others with the same type of wounding. That's called shaman's death. You know, other people in other traditions call the life lessons that you want to learn. Sometimes we want to learn humility or overcome tyranny and speak up for yourself, setting boundaries, love yourself more. So, um, so again, are we, did we incarnate for Mrs. Dad for the shaman's death? Yes or no? And, uh, did we uh, incarnate with dad for other life lessons? And uh, if yes, uh, what type of, please? And uh, let's ask whether uh, there is some kind of karma reversal with your dad. Karma reversal would mean, let's say, if you have an abusive dad, in this lifetime, maybe in a past lifetime, you were the abusive person to him. And it's just getting even, and many times there is, you know, every dead ghost involved again, that haven't given up, that keep revenge. So, uh, is there a karmic reversal with your relationship with your dad? Yes or no? And now ask if there's any energy stealing between you and your dad going on through courts, yes or no? And now ask uh, that the major courts that you have with your father, of course we are courted on all levels with our parents, but then according to the relationship you will have larger or smaller um, coding, you know, in different areas of your body. So ask that you be shown the most important chords with your father. Now, amen. And ask why this particular chord is so predominant in your relationship with your father. Now, amen. And now ask whether you are coded with your father through the root chakra and how does it affect you and him? And now ask, are you coded with your father on the second chakra? Yes or no? And now ask, how does it affect the both of you, this type of coding? And now ask if you caught it with your father through your solar plexus, yes or no? And how does this cording affect the both of you? The energy dynamics, so to say.
and now ask to be shown the cords you have to the heart of your father, how strong they are, how healthy they are. Now, Amen. And ask how these cords relate to your relationship with your father. And now ask to be shown the connection that you have with your father through the throat. Amen. And how does that affect your relationship with your father? And how does it affect him too? And now you asked to be shown the connection that you have between your third eyes. And then again, how do you affect each other with this? Is there somebody dominant? Is there a disruption there? Is there interference or blocks? And now ask to be shown the connection with your dad, you know, from the head, top of the head up. Yeah, that's is called the crown chakras, and there's several going all the two meters up, six feet up, as you can see those. And uh, with some, if the dad is materialistic, uh, there is uh, probably not much there. Or you will see a lot of darkness or things like plates and skull caps and other, let's say, technology that is blocking many of them from curses, thought forms, maybe some archons here and there. And now we ask that all these cords that are dysfunctional between you and your dad, please be cleared of both ways for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Now, Amen. And that also all those spells <laughs> and vows these negative things between you and your dad also be cleared as much as possible right now without having to look at the details. Amen. Especially the ones that are undeserved. They can be probably released without having to look at details. So please do so now as much as you can. And ask uh, if there are any uh, revenge vows still uh, between your father and you, yes or no. And ask how they affect you. And are there still any ghosts following you around? And now ask, uh, which kind of traits are coming to you from your father and his line? The most important ones. Now, Amen. And you may be curious, uh, so just ask, uh, were you rejected as an unwanted child by your father initially, or maybe even later, yes or no? I know it's hard sometimes, but these were immature young people many times that just, you know, 
got into a situation they didn't know what they were getting into. Or maybe asked whether you were rejected for being the wrong gender according to your dad's expectations, yes or no. And now ask if there is still any anger or hostility from his side, uh, let's say, because you were born, he was being trapped in the wrong relationship, I had unfavorable career changes and uh, maybe sexy Sadie, uh, that uh, dad fell in love with, turned into a bloated Sadie mom in stretch pants with the libido of a panda bear. So is there still, you know, resentment and anger for coming into his life, yes or no? And just forgive him about it, and we ask that this be cleared, you know, from your inner child, <laughs> from your subconscious. <clears throat> So we ask the highest spirit guides to clear this. Uh, and now why this is clearing, uh, is there also any sadness or depression that you picked up from your dad and still carrying around and you think it's yours but it's his? Yes or no? So we like to have that cleared. Is there maybe any alcohol or drug addiction that was passed down unto you from your dad? Yes or no? Uh, we like to have that clear as much as possible too. Hmm? Uh, maybe is your dad making up for injustices from the past that he did to you? Yes or no? And now I ask, are there any generational curses down the male line that are still affecting you, yes or no? And now I ask, are there still any bindings, any contracts, curses, vows coming down the male line? If they are, we ask to be cleared all now, all these negative things we just mentioned. We ask to be cleared. Both lines, you know, even if your male line cursed others, we like to have that clear too. Amen. And we also asked our highest guides to please clear for us all sexist transferring from father to husband, like he's such a control freak, or men only want one thing, you know. I mean, to transference to men in general, also any transference to male high self, or authority, or the control structures, the man, the divine male energy, as it strives to manifest in form, or the different levels of, uh, you know, uh, other male aspects. Please do so now. Amen. On all levels of our beings. Amen. 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 And we ask for another round of cleansing, this time for the male archetype in yourself. We all have a male aspect, a male high self, I call it, in yourself as well. There's these male aspects, different types of male aspects in the outside world. 
So we like to have all these prejudices transferred from our first experiences cleared. Amen, amen, amen. Now comes the big release, so please pay attention and just keep nodding your head all the time. Think yes, or amen, or oh, or I agree, um, because there are a lot of things. Yeah. So just keep agreeing, um, so and smile, so those higher beings uh, can help you. And with higher beings, I mean all the way up to souls. I call it, let's, let's call it spirit. So please, Divine Spirit, please release all hooks, devices, chains, and other forms of bindings and limitations like rings, plates, spikes, spells, Curses, contracts, promises, vows that were put unto me, the body, mind and spirit complex, by my father or were put by me, meaning my body, mind and spirit complex unto my father. That includes structures, thought forms, devices, entities, orientations, or effects associated with these following curses across all incarnations, all space, all time, all parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all source systems, all dimensions and the void. Of course, everything for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes now. Amen, 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 amen. And so it is. And if there's still any entities or energies or uh, soul fragments left from these curses that are still stuck between Father and us and all those different incarnations, we like to ask the volunteer ascension teams to please escort them into the heavens, help them with the forgiveness work clear them from any bindings and negative magic, any contracts, etc. Just forgive each other. Amen, 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 amen. Then take earth love, inhale it from the earth mother, into your heart. And put the tongue to the palate and then send this love into the heavens. You built a bridge like a portal for those spirits to go home. And tell them that you love them. To please forgive you. And that you're so sorry. So sorry. And just send your love or send the love of Mother Earth that you pump up into the heavens. Always. Never use your own energy. You're not having enough energy. Just always use the energy of the heavens or the earth or from source from inside your heart. And you might feel a lot of energies leaving, floating upwards. And support this with your breath and just ask the forgiveness, give forgiveness. Oh, and those that are stuck, we ask that they be reunited uh, with their loved ones, that they're lost on the astral planes, like babies, sweethearts, pets, grannies and tribal members or army members, and buddies, 
Please reunite them now and then bring them into the clearing and ascension chambers that bring them into the highest heavens. Amen. And of course, as they're leaving, we like to have their baggage cleared automatically from our force fields and from our dad's force fields. Amen, 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 amen. <clears throat> And just sit there and run love from the earth into the heavens. And smile like an idiot. And you probably feel this leaving in waves. It's very common. And you know, if it bends your spine, just go ahead and flow with it. And while this is going on, let's just ask, some more questions. Is there anything that your father did not give you that you really needed? Like, did you get enough words of support, of support by him? Yes or no? And if not, you know, promise your inner child to support you. You know, it's a good self-talk from now on. Amen. And I ask, did he give you enough gifts to feel loved? Yes or no? And if not, find yourself a lover that is generous to you, or be generous with yourself. Amen. Did he give you enough services, maybe help you fix the bike, or help you with homework, or maybe give you a massage, anything like this, yes or no? And if you never did, just make sure that you're not stranded without support. <laughs> Let's ask, uh, did you have enough quality time with your dad? Yes or no? And if no, just make sure that you have enough quality time with your children and your loved ones to make up for this. Find somebody that you can spend quality time with, which will be very healing for you. Amen. Did you have enough touch, physical closeness from your father? Yes or no? Oh, if not, find yourself a very kind, warm person that likes to hold hands. This will be very healing for you. Amen. And promise you not, child, you know, to make it happy. So let's just do some more dirt digging. Let's ask, what is the most important and destructive mantra from your dad? It would be something we cannot take you anywhere or you're good for nothing. So what is the most destructive mantra that he has been using on you? And what is the second most destructive mantra that he used on you? And now I asked you in a child aspect, which mantra did bug it the most, that it really annoyed? And I asked you in a teen, he probably has three mantras he can rattle off. So what three things were the most annoying from Dad? And just forgive this poor man, you know, if you cannot just ask your guidance to show you why he was so annoying. <laughs> what made him this way? Maybe you change your mind in hindsight.
And now just take love from the heavens and earth, smile like an idiot, you know, inhale very deeply and on the exhale send it to your dad's inner child. Amen. And now we also call on dad's inner team to be in front of us and also project love on this one. Amen. And now maybe call also on all the ghosts or ascended aspect of your dad and project love unto them now. Amen. Just smile like an idiot and really breathe and really make sure that you focus on pulling in the love from heaven and earth. And also be open to their echo, you know, they probably will send love back to you. And now invoke the dad, his dad's aspect when your mom was pregnant with you. You know, maybe he was very freaked out and needs some balancing, so run love unto him now. Amen. I now ask what was your dad's greatest sacrifice for you? And his second greatest sacrifice. And now thank your dad for all the trouble that he went through. Just appreciate this. Probably from your more adult view, you can do this much better now. And as we are finding out the truth, ask him what is his biggest disappointment with you. And ask your own guidance, what is your biggest disappointment with your dad? And now just try to forgive each other because so many times we blame our parents for all kinds of stuff. And they have nothing to do with this or there was a big misunderstanding. So if you can, just forgive him now. Amen. And maybe we can do this uh, mantra. I forgive my parents for anything I don't like. They have done their best because their intention was to give their best but they were so wounded, so I forgive them now throughout our creation. Amen, 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 amen. And if they could do better, they would have done better. They were so wounded. So with this perspective, I also forgive them throughout creation. And when I was a bad dad, I asked for forgiveness for the same reasons. Amen, 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 amen. So now let's call on your father's male high self and ask uh, which gifts and abilities you came down, you know, through his male high self, the male line to you. And now ask also to please open those gifts for you to unfold them so you can use them properly. Many times there are blocks to those gifts, so we ask that they please be removed now. Amen. And we also ask now our spirit guides, the highest spirit guides, the heavy hitters, if there are any unwanted, unwarranted curses, 
that can be cleared without having to look at the details, please do so now. Amen, 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 amen. You know, whether you place them on your dad, or your dad placed them onto you, or others placed them on your dad and you into your relationships. All these things happen many, many times. So we ask that all these things um, be cleared. Uh, maybe there are more energies or entities that need to still be moved, and so we ask that this please be done now. Amen, amen, amen. And there may be even some portals in our force field or house or environment that should be closed or opened or reversed from dark to light or repaired or guarded. Uh, please do so now. Amen. And now you become aware of the room and you slip back into your physical body and all your subtle bodies align perfectly. You can become really grounded. Insert into the toes, the heels, the spine. Everything gets aligned. And now you open your eyes back in vacant day consciousness. Hello my friends, again I love you and I hope you had a great meditation and that you're very light and relaxed. So please do not drive any car or operate heavy machinery now. I just take it easy and enjoy the mood, maybe watch the sunset <laughs> or meditate some more or take a nice walk in nature. So this is a shotgun meditation and it will probably not clear all the issues with your dad. Much of the time you will have to do these guided meditation um, because you can only you know solve so many issues at a time and release them. Just like we take pills or teas. Um, but uh, most likely you had a lot of incarnations with your dad and so there are many layers like in onions. Also of course your clearing depends on your insights. The lessons that you have learned, the level of forgiveness and of course also the gravity of the trauma. Many issues have to be looked at in greater detail uh, before they can be released. That is when a lesson or insight is needed uh, before the trauma can be transmitted. Uh, the insight is like the homework you got to do. Good parents will help with the homework, uh, but do not <laughs> do it all. And of course, uh, that is where a private session uh, with me will be very helpful. Um, you know, I will help you to get over the hump, hold space for you and, you know, use my experience. Uh, so the cleansing um, that you will be going through, or that you're going through, um, is probably for many of you happening at breakneck speed here. Just like the Maya foretold that uh, time is speeding up. And of course they were not uh, talking about uh, mechanical time, but uh, psychological time. A lot of events happening in our consciousness uh, in short time. So um, <clears throat> just to ground yourself, that's very important. This will help with the integration. And uh, drink at least a liter or a quart of water after this session, uh, probably more. Uh, if you get a headache, you need to drink more water. Also, the information density of this guided meditation is super high. Uh, there is uh, so much packed into this. So listen to the meditation uh, several times uh, till you uh, get no more strong reaction or use the pendulum. 
uh, with it. I have a video on how to use a pendulum. And uh, if you're not sure uh, whether you should watch it again, uh, just ask for the highest guidance and most accessible guidance. Uh, no matter where it comes from, you know, through books or YouTube information, website, people, nature, dreams, and much more, you know, just for the highest good, uh, uh, good guidance, and it will come to you. Of course, you know, you may also treat yourself to a private Skype session and cut right to the chase. My prices are still very reasonable. Uh, just uh, go to my website or uh, send me an email. You know, there's also more info in the credits and in the information down below. Uh, if you responded well to the, the guided meditation, uh, please do the cyber life stuff. Increase my ratings, subscribe, ring the bell, give thumbs up, tell your friends. Leave comments, this is your tribe, the people here, you know, and whatever testimonial you can give uh, will help others to see that they're not so crazy after all, that there's others like them. And uh, smile like an idiot and enjoy my other videos too.